Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna be completely honest here. I didn't plan on making a video, but something has been grinding my gears lately. I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, and I think it's a really fun game. In case you don't know how the game works, there is a defending side and an attacking side with 5 players on each side. The defending side has to fortify their position inside of a building and protect the objective, whilst the attacking side has to either complete the objective or kill all of the defenders. It's played in multiple rounds and the first one to reach either 3 or 5 wins, depending on if you're playing ranked or casual, wins the game. At the beginning of each round you get to choose your operator which is basically your class for the round. And here is where my problem lies. There are 30 operators in total, but guess what? It's a Ubisoft game, so you don't get all the operators when you buy a $40 game. No, 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 no. That would be crazy. Getting a full game at $40? You have to, get this, grind currency to unlock all the operators. I find this very shitty to begin with, but it's not even a simple grind. I've got 50 hours in the game, and I'm level 34, and I'm not even close to having all of them. I've basically just scratched the surface. There are two categories with operators. The reasonable price ones, and the unreasonable price ones. I just this day got finished unlocking all the cheap ones. So, there are 20 cheap ones, and the price varies between 500 and 2000. To buy all of these, you need 500 times 5, plus 1000 times 5, plus 1500 times 5, plus 2000 times 5. So, 25,000 currency to unlock these 20 cheap ones. You get about 150 to 400 currency per match played, so let's take an average of 250 currency per match. This means that you have to complete 100 matches to unlock every single operator. Okay, fine, I can accept that. It keeps it interesting and keeps you hooked in the beginning. Now, get this. To buy one of the expensive ones, you need to pay 25,000 currency. Let that sink in. For just one operator, you have to play 100 matches. One of these operators costs just as much as the 20 cheap ones. The reason for these being so expensive? They were added in updates after the launch. This also makes them extremely good loadouts and needed to be competitive. Okay, I get that you want to profit from your game. I can accept that. I get that you want to keep people playing after launch. League does the same thing. One difference is that League doesn't fucking charge $40 for you to even get to play the game. And this is what I find very scummy. Okay, but do you want to unlock all operators? All available ones together cost 25,000 times 9, so 225,000 currency. Divide this by 250, and this means that you have to play a total of 900 matches to buy all available operators. But is that the end of all this bullshit? No, no, no. Here comes the worst part. The part that made me want to make this video. The latest update that added a new interface, map, and two new operators. You don't even get to buy these two latest operators. No, 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 no. That would be ridiculous. Because, for the first seven days after this update, these are Season Pass owners exclusive. So, if you want to be competitive and on par with the rest of these people, you have to fork over 30 bucks to get a Season Pass that isn't even a one-time payment because it only lasts two years. That isn't even all the bullshit around this game. Because even if you have all the operators, you don't get to have them fully, because you still need to buy weapon attachments with currencies. But I'm not gonna go into that today. Frankly, I find this business model very shitty, and it combines the worst of both worlds. You have to pay money for an incomplete game, and either pay almost double to unlock not even everything since there are still attachments, and not even to speak about cosmetics, or grind your fucking dick off competing against people with superior stats and loadouts. I feel like I don't even want to play the ranked mode in this game, because I'll be at a disadvantage. But that's just my opinion. If you want, you can go to the comment section and tell me how wrong you think I am. But I'm gonna end the video right now, before I want to add myself. 
Nah, just kidding, it's already way too late for that. Bye.